Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Now, before the video begins, thought I'd do a shout out to our PC and laptop partner, Apex Gaming PCs. If you're in the market for something new, uh, something fresh, feel free to use the uh, link down below and use the code Huzzy at checkout for 5% off. Uh, the link will take you to this page. This is the landing page for Huzzy Games and Apex, my partner page. But obviously I helped them design three PCs at three different levels. So the Diamond, the Master and the Challenger. You can probably guess where we got those names from. Uh, so if you are in the market for a PC, a lot of you in the past or, you know, in general have ordered PCs from Apex. Pretty much everybody has been happy with their machine. The only negative, and you know, it is worth saying, is there are still delays uh, with PCs, unfortunately. That is just the world that we're in. Uh, they do have a new service available. I thought, I, I think I mentioned it last time, but they have a rush service available that if you're incredibly desperate for your PC, you can kind of skip the line or get ahead in the line, but it does cost a lot extra. Uh, but it's it's basically there for people that have to have their PC. I wouldn't do it if you just kind of are upgrading casually, but it's like me. If my PC blew up and I need a PC, it's more for that type of stuff. Uh, so if you are in the, in the market, feel free to check it out. Uh, they are also offering laptops. And I think I showed last time, they are also offering PCs up to 50% off. They are refurbished PCs, but under full warranty and any part that has not been up to spec gets replaced for brand new so feel free to check that out also it is worth mentioning all these pcs are fine for league of legends obviously when it comes to future proofing the better more powerful pc you get obviously the better you can also uh, customize these pcs so you can click, click on that and change a couple of things if you wanted to and just to mention two things apex is an american company so if you're in america you'll be completely fine uh, but if you're an international customer like even i am uh, the uh, the PC ships with an American power cable, so you'll have to have your equivalent power cable separate. You'll have to order that. Um, you can get it on Amazon for like five bucks, no big deal. And also, um, you know, the PC will think it's in America, so you just got to change some settings. It doesn't take long. And then the final thing is Apex does not believe in bloatware. Whenever your PC arrives, it will be incredibly bare bones. So you have to kind of update everything, all the Windows updates, any driver installations, which are very important. Do not forget those. Um, you've got to do that. You know, when your PC arrives, don't be too scared. It will it will power on when you've got it plugged in. It will boot to Windows. So you've got a PC. You don't need to like install Windows, but you need to install everything to make the PC run to what it's supposed to with its spec. The driver, you know, do not forget your GPU driver. If you've got an NVIDIA graphics card, get NVIDIA uh, GeForce Experience and it will kind of do everything for you. Uh, but yeah, just thought I'd mention that also. But that's going to be it. Thank you so much for Apex for being a long-term sponsor. And thank you guys for supporting the sponsorships that we have. There is a there's a reason why we have partnerships for, you know, many partnerships are standing over now two years is because they work and you guys support them. So thank you very much for that. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please do like it, comment and subscribe if you've not. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a game of Nico. That we're kind of asking the question, is Nico an okay blind pick right now? Uh, basically, you know, I'm blind pick nine games out of ten, I would say, on average. And, you know, I know I can play my Anivia. You know, I'm supposed to be able to play uh, Victor in blind pick too, but my Victor games just never, we never win. <laughs> um, so it just is, I don't want to play more Victor. So I need a couple more blind picks. Viga is definitely a potential. And now I'm thinking Nico. But the thing with Nico is it can be a bit hit or miss that Nico is matchup dependent. Uh, she likes melee matchups. And luckily for me, this guy picked a melee matchup. Unfortunately, it's a Silas who, you know, heals an absolute truckload. But we'll see how it goes. So the game itself is a Diamond 2 game on average with a few exceptions. Uh, just Stomped went 0-6. One Trick Lee Sin. Millionaire 1.6 million on Lee. Godlike Diana. That is actually quite impressive because Diana is an incredibly popular champion right now. So to be world ranked top a thousand on a very popular champion is actually incredibly impressive. Um, their comp is good, but so is ours. Both comps are actually pretty damn good. Uh, the Silas, as you can see there, by the way, 162 games has a, a negative win rate. So that's pretty bad on that. But yeah, they've got quite a lot of games on some of their peoples. But it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't matter that much. Um, again, it, it is kind of weird that some people do point out sometimes, like some people can have 160 games and you can have four games, but you can wreck people. 
yeah it's just the nature of solo queue it's the nature of ranked play there's always is you know human error and a lot of games doesn't equal that you're going to be great at the champion you know it, it's that kind of mistake that some people make with mastery like never quote your mastery if you want to be taken seriously because good players do not rate mastery at all uh, it does not mean you're going to be good again we've said a few times the highest mastery players in the world on their champions they're all like in very 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 average ranks um you know I, you know, it's just the way of it uh thank you much jz uh wiz 25 months with prime also thank you very much dude appreciate it appreciate it would i play yasuo if i see another diana jungle mm, probably not i like playing yasuo but i wouldn't probably randomly pull it out so i think sen is an s tier support i don't really um i don't really use the tier system i don't really like the tier system when it comes to rating champions in league Hey, Tem Tam. I think what is a much better scale if a champion is good or not is if you, you know, if you want to play Senna, are you good at Senna? Because <laughs> it doesn't matter if the champion is good or bad. If you suck at that champion, the champion sucks. There are some exceptions to that rule, I will say. <laughs> and I think most of us know what champions I'm talking about. But on average, it matters more if you are good with a champion than if the champion is good. There's an example, you know, there's a reason why you can have Heimer mains in Challenger, for example. I didn't check who's the highest movement speed person is this game. Yeah. Mm. Like one thing I would say what the league player base I, I would say does badly is a lot of people, and I've mentioned it quite a lot, are desperate for lp nowadays and that isn't sustainable if you're playing things just for lp and you're not playing it for fun um it's not sustainable you're gonna get burnt out really quickly you might gain a little lp in the in the short run but in the long term you're going to be hurting yourself more as a player whoa not bad Okay. <laughs> 160 game versus 4 game, as we mentioned. <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't matter. Oh, God. Ah, uh, well, apparently it does, because as you can. Okay. I think Jinx is too strong right now. Oh, God, yeah. There's no reason not to really play Jinx if you're an AD carry player. She is very good. She's good in every single comp. Morgana Bind that can't be hit by minions. I mean, it's not the same as Morgana Bind. Roots for 0 0.7 seconds. Morgana Bind, you get bound, you can go make a cup of tea, come back, and then you're unbound. You know? There is a small difference between those two. But obviously, Nico's one doesn't bind as much because it can go through minions. Obviously, Morgana's cannot. Zoom our blue is gone. They didn't take our blue. Wow, nice. Am I the only one that feels the newer champions are faster forgotten than they used to be? Mm, not really. I think it's just because there's more, more and more champions. It feels like they're forgotten. It's just there's so many champions to play in League nowadays. 
there's too many and they're only gonna add more See, do you hear what that Nico just said then? If Nico becomes Nico, what does she look like? I do think there's like some weird conspiracy theory that people believe that like Nico, this like the lizard looking thing isn't actually Nico. I legit think that's a real conspiracy. That healing, man. I think we've got him. Oh, Jinx killed Ezreal for free. Nice. Silas just doesn't die. That champion, what the hell? You see how much healing he already did? <sighs> Again, give your crabs, by the way. That sounds really weird. Give Scuttle Crab to junglers. Uh, literally, it gives your team more gold. I believe it's gold, more gold and more XP. So there is... It's bad to take away that stuff from junglers. Give crabs to your junglers. Heard it her first on Huzzy Gems. Right, who will be the fastest? So Nico's 365, 370. It's probably Diana. Same, 370. I'm looking down here, by the way, at the movement speed. Karma, 360. She's slow. Ezreal, that's a Nico. 365. Ezreal, 350. Wow, he's really slow. So either go Diana or Aatrox to get back to lane or run around the map. You get a slight movement speed advantage and sometimes that makes the difference. That extra 10 movement speed, you never know. It might get you to the team fight in time. Hey, Spoon. Oh, God. A picnic. Nice play. Dun, dun. Hey, Mika. Just watched Turning Red Disney movie. Yeah, I need to see that. I've not seen it yet. I've heard it's good. Queen Pleb did laugh at me when I realized what it was talking about. Um... Because I just didn't really realize. I was like, oh, that's what it's about. Yeah, she overstayed in the jungle. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. A lion tonight. You wanted our red buff. In the jungle, a mighty jungle, a lion sleeps tonight. So my goal, by the way, it's it's really apparent. I said this to the Twitch stream. Like we lost a game last game when we had a really bad brand. Um, he basically every time we're above fifty LP, we will lose the next game. Like it's crazy, like how often that is happening. So what I want to do is win this game and win one more game after. That's kind of my goal at the moment. Win two games in a row. Break the just above 15 L 50 LP mark because I just can't do it at the moment. Every every time that we're just above 50, boom, loss. It's like, God damn it. Bonk. Nice. Like Jace did do a lot of damage. And I like Jace. I do not like that matchup for Jace. You can do well in the early game, and then as eventually, in theory, there is nothing you can do to an Aatrox eventually. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I have played that matchup quite a few times. I'm surprised. I thought Silas was going to go top lane then. That's why Lee was covering the lane, but no, Silas went to go back and buy instead. Again, you never know. This Silas doesn't seem great, but he might not be a good lane player. 
This Lee Sin has literally got all of his kills practically from people overstaying. That. If I had Dino with me, we probably could fight them, but oh well. Uh, I bet he was expect. I bet he was roughly expecting Dino Ultimate. Then oh, wait, he does have Dino Ultimate. Wait, 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 wait. How does that work? Wait, how does it work? Silas has stolen Nico's Ultimate, but it's showing Diana. Does that mean he actually has Diana Ult? Wait, what? I am so confused. I think he has Diana ult. No, that's a Nico ult. That is a really bad bug. Because I fought him thinking he has Diana ult. I was like, oh, he's got Diana ult. I've got the shield ult. Nico. Nope. Oh. That was Nico ult. Oh, Nami's top lane. Wow. That Nami has to be careful. Oh. That this literally this Lee Sin is just getting free kills by like again, it's not good play, it's just it's it's partially good play. It's being at the right place at the right time, but he's just getting so many free kills. Which obviously that's part of good play, but still it's like that zed from the other game the zed did nothing special but if you looked from the outside in you'd like oh that's a fed zed he wasn't a fed zed he was just in the right place at the right time he was not really doing anything in the match oh i was like am i going bot lane no i'll go mid aatrox can go bot yeah he's getting freebies again it's not the biggest deal Lee Sin falls off as we all know oh my god can i click the right thing thank you <sighs> that's so weird. Again, that's the type of thing that, what, like, from this video, probably can tell Riot about that bug. Because that's, you know, it's not the biggest bug on the planet, but, like, it's weird. And that is not intended. Down, down up. Whoa! Again, that combo is so deadly. The poke that they have is mad. Why not elude into this game? Because all I've got to do is stop a Lee Sin and a um, Silas. Like, they want to run at me. I just have to stop them, CC them, and they're dead. So that's pretty much why. Like, damage-wise, we're not lacking damage. Damage, 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 damage. All five are damage orientated. Like, yes, she does shields, but she also does a lot of damage. Oh. Um, so, yeah. That is the reasoning behind it. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Probably to my Silas. Ooh. Okay. Come in. Dude, you're dead. Why would he flash? Let's accept the death at that point. That's bad. Hey, Dan. Oh, God. And Jace is not having a great game. So, so far, is Nico a good blind pick? Well, it's a hard question to answer because the weird thing is we actually got an okay matchup. This guy willingly took Silas into Nico. It's a bit weird because Nico is known to be good against melee champions. That's kind of her thing. And this guy willingly took it. Like, and I think it's, it's because he's a one trick or a main or something. Again, one of the other negatives of being a one trick or a solo main of things is you have to pick your champion into bad matchups. So he willingly took Silas into a Nico, which you never really want to do. Hope I'm good. I'm good. I've got my uh, back appointment later today, which I'm looking forward to. Oh, Jinx is dead again. Auto. Oh, oh, close. Silas is roaming top of lane. They should just do your 4v2. What to do now? Find 
I'm gonna walk top lane maybe though, am I? They are, they're backing off, they're backing off. Yeah, mid lane. Okay. I think he he was gonna go for that and then stopped because um I hit level um I hit I leveled up and he was like he was level nine at the time am I really engaging on a two level above me Nico I just hit her next ulti Aatrox did just disconnect, by the way. Hopefully that is not a pattern or a trend. I'm going to go get this plant I saw over here. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> and that combo. Diana roll into Nico E into Ezra ulti. And there might even be karma damage on top of that as well. <laughs> oh, you hate to see that. Where did they go? They went to the Shadow Realm. They got obliterated. Diana is very strong. Hecarim's the best jungler in solo queue right now, I would say, but Diana's the best AP option. Poor Jinx. Zach is up there as well. True. I'd give you that. I'd give you that as well. Hey, Beef Stew. Bounce about. Is this losable? I mean, every game is technically losable. We saw Aatrox disconnect a couple minutes ago. If he disconnects and doesn't come back, losable. In reality, this game should not be losable because the only strong person on their team is Lee Sin, who also pretty much has fallen off by now. Christ. They cannot survive. How have the game's been recently? It's been okay. It's been a bit up and down. Um, you know, it, it, I don't mean to be a, a moany moan, but pretty much any game that's a duo game tends to be a bit oof. Any game that there's no duos in it, the quality goes up. Like, I don't know. It's just been a bit weird in that matter. Are they just letting us get this? Hey, Gralapus. We got the inhibitor. Okay. Nico Nico Oh. Does Silas? Does anybody know? Like, does Silas copies an ultimate, but he has to change it partially for his own scaling? So, like, he doesn't copy the exact scaling of my ult, I presume, because like he can't. Because if he copies an AD ultimate, that's going to do nothing for him. He has to convert it to his own scaling. Or if it is an AP ult, is it then my scaling? I don't even know. Maybe. There is a conversion. Okay. Like in my head, it would make sense for Silas to have a slightly weaker version of the actual person's ultimate. Because it would be weird if he has a stronger version of their ultimate. That wouldn't make any sense. I think, has Lee Sin rage quit by the- oh no, there he is. I just haven't seen him for ages. Hey, Killer Frost. Oh dear. That's an Aatrox a little bit too desperate around a tier 2 tower. 
Oh, uh, Silas. Oh my god, he got that? Okay. God damn it. Sure. I think Lee Sin might be like a little bit rage split pushing. He's just like, well, he might get a couple objective bounties, which is never bad, but it's not worth us getting Baron for him getting a couple of side things. Damn, that Baron died really fast. Damn. Thoughts on Lilia as a champ? Very player dependent champion. Very player dependent. If the player's good, really good champion. If the player's average, not great. You have to excel at that champion to make it work well. I couldn't even move. Everfrost E ult. <laughs> okay. I don't think the Aatrox is trolling. I think he's just playing all in. Oh, that missed! Good game. Don't mind me. Oh. Oh dear. I'm alive! Thank God Aatrox is nearby. Oh, that missed. I do feel partially sorry for the Lee Sin because he clearly played quite well. Just it doesn't really matter. It's unfortunate to play an early game champ and fall off because, you know, you fall off. Nice. I'm happy with that. I don't like Everfrost on certain champions. I don't like Everfrost on Anivia, that some people build it. I don't like Everfrost on Ari. I like some uh, Everfrost things. Some some Everfrost makes sense, like a Nico. Uh, some doesn't. Uh, Diana, I guess, well played. But Viga, it does make sense in some matchups. Viga gets so much ability power that having an Everfrost isn't bad. Um, so yeah. All right. So we went 8, 1, 4, 150 farm, a plus 16, and damage-wise, doing the second most damage on my team, third most damage in the game, and the only people that I was below was the two kind of more poke-orientated champions. So that's pretty good. I will take that happily. What's the sub-goal for? Uh, so yeah, the sub-goal, I'm not expecting to do it anytime soon. Um, I'm expecting it maybe over the next couple weeks it to be hopefully complete. Um, the stress, obviously, of, of high diamond solo queue can get a little bit much, um, so some people have said to me like, Huz, why aren't you going to do a Smurf series? So the goal is to start the Smurf series, but with a twist. So it's actually to start the Smurf series, but only doing in the placements of old school Huzzy picks. So for example, we do a Rengar top lane game, for example. So that's kind of like the twist. Um, we'll see obviously with the goal, if it gets complete in the next couple of weeks, it might take a while, but hopefully it gets complete. But um, yeah, it's just a bit of a twist, a bit of a different idea. But uh, yeah, the goal for this, obviously, the, sorry, the, the title of this video is like, is Nico an okay blind pick? I think she's an okay blind pick, but luckily for me, this guy picked a good matchup because he's a one trick or a main Silas and he willingly picked a bad matchup because he wanted to play Silas. If somebody picked an, a long range AP mage, that's a different story. But, you know, I think Nico's an okay blind pick. You just have to adjust your play. Um, yeah, Anivia is my main blind pick right now, but I can't play Anivia every game because I think I'd get one board burnt out and I also just don't want to do that. But yeah, because uh, my other blind picks are Victor and Vlad and both of those champions are not going very well for me right now. So I'm opening to other champions is um, Viga I'm thinking about more and Nico I'm thinking about more. But yeah, 
anyway that's gonna be it if you guys did enjoy please do throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace restore our glory to live forever bring down the dark regime i know how to unleash eternal power